compared to my previous episodes. And this is actually why I don't really feel like recording Spelunky right now, because I... Like, Spelunky videos are really, really long, so I'm just gonna jump right into Meat Boy and play some casual, nice, super Meat Boy. Let myself get owned, but at least... I, I, I don't have to constantly focus. Like, if I fuck up in Meat Boy, I'm just restarting a level and try again. If I fuck up in, in Spelunky, it's all over. Like, there, there would be... There could be instances where... Oh, really? How did I die there? There could be instances in, in Spelunky where I've worked hard for something for, for minutes or even, even half an hour. And then fuck up and everything would, would go to waste, pretty much. Whereas here... It doesn't really go to waste. I'm just trying again if it doesn't work. Like so, I mean, I can, I can do these uh, crazy-ass shortcuts with, without really fearing any repercussions. That is totally possible. I'm going to do that. That totally is possible. And I don't, I don't really have to fear that, as you can see, because like within milliseconds I respawn and I can try again. And really nice. How quick was it? I have to see that. Just see that that was under. Ah, oh, that could have been under five seconds. Actually, it wasn't, but it could have been. Anyway, I didn't want to go on. And what is the gimmick here? Like, the, the things have been removed and I have to jump through these now? And I totally could have made it if I hadn't jumped. And that was lag. And I do have to jump through this now. Uh oh. oh how did I... I did not push the jump button hard enough here, apparently. Woo! Wee, wee, that was too early. This is really hard. It's not not necessarily that hard, but you have to have a kind of good feeling for when those razor blades are going to spawn. Especially if you get close to to those generators, those razor blade things that shoot them. There's a bandage. Wee. Yeah, this... And most of these levels aren't really hard. Ugh! Famous last words. I uh, notice how I didn't say anything so far about how easy those levels are. And I did reasonably well, com especially compared to my previous episodes. And then I go like, ooh, these levels aren't so hard. And I immediately screw up. And, uh, this is not going to work, right? I'm not totally gonna do this. I'm not on time pressure here. I've gotten a bandage. So I can take my time, go up. Yes! Okay, now I have to do it in like 10 seconds. 14, and I accidentally went to the next level. Uh, back to map. I'm doing this for an A plus first. Blown! That is a really appropriate name for this level. The way up there. And up there, and that was not an A plus. Up there, and go up there, and go up there, and there, and up there, and that should totally let me reach vantage ground. Anyway, that is enough. Is it enough? It is enough. Yeah. Okay, what do I have to do here? I don't really remember the layout of this level. Apparently I have to get myself blown over here. Or not. Okay, let me try that again. Well, it shouldn't be that complicated. Can I go up here? I totally can. Very nice. There's totally bandage over to the left. Like, I can already tell. I'm pretty certain. We A plus. I'm gonna repeat this, just in case there's a bandage. I'll look out for that. Jump there again. Oops. Jump there again. Jump over there, down here, and there is... That didn't look like there was a bandage. Okay. Let me try it again. I shouldn't have jumped into that razor blade too early, I guess. Because I didn't really see if there was a bandage. Oh, there's a warp zone. Warp zone! I, I did remember something along those lines, but I wasn't exactly sure. Anyway, 
This is the last warp zone for for the hospital, and this looks pretty. Actually, it does, that doesn't look really dangerous, even though it might seem otherwise. But I can just do this. Ooh, I can just die here. That's basically what happens in Meat Point. I think I said this in the last episode. Uh, that's basically what happens in Meat Point. You can just die. Oh, uh, jumping through there. Yeah, this is. <gasps> that was not my fault. I, I. That was the lag, and that that's what I said in my first episode. 1977. That's what I said in my first episode. Um, the la lag in this game can really make things easier, such as randomly glitching through walls. I mean, that can happen, as you see, and, and fuck up your entire run, basically. But it, it might as well glitch you through a wall that you would otherwise have to to skip in a pretty, pretty bad manner. Anyway, there is a bandage, and I totally see that. And I got it. Very nice. Anyway, 1-2. Most warp zones do have a, a really annoying first level, and do get, like, a lot easier in later levels. And I really should take this a little more lightly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was the lag. I don't care what anyone says. And I'm almost dead again. Down there. Open this up. Jump over this. Nice. And I get back to 3 health. And there has to be a bandage here. Uh, I totally see it. <sighs> really? This level looks pretty annoying, actually. Whee! There's an easier way to do this without risking to die. I just... <sighs> that lag! That doesn't make for good let's play quality. Such horrible lag. Anyway, I'm going to hug this wall, let me fall down here, fall into the bandage, and I should get up there. Yeah. Thank you. And out of the warp zone, bandage girl is in another warp zone. Who would have thought? There wasn't even a cutscene there. I had to to skip. And I tested this. I tested this in advance to see oops, to see if it did lag and didn't. So how how does it now? Oh, where do I need to jump here? I'm curious. Curious? I think I need to, to land on this platform and then jump towards the wall. Question is how am I doing that? <laughs> Let me jump to the last. Yes! Land there, land there. Ooh. That was bad. Yeah. I pressed the jump button. You even might have heard that actually. Oh, where do I go now? There, there. Don't blow me off! Where's Bandage Girl? There she is. That is totally not an A+. It is! How? Oh, how? How was that an A+. Anyway, down there... And unlike the original, where I said you really don't know in this level what the intended path is, if there ever was one to begin with, you really know where to go here. And... Wow. I glitched through the left wall. And, and landed in the abyss, basically. That's bullshit. That is some big bullshit right there. Anyway, over there, and I should have waited a little longer, I guess. Whee. I don't really have any reason to hurry up here because I have to wait for this guy down there anyway. For this guy, so not really, not really a need, any need to hurry. Whee there, and this guy is going to block my way again. And I really wonder if you have to be quicker about this. And there's a bandage that I'm totally going to get. Get to my girlfriend, that is totally not an A+. Plus. That is an A+. Plus. What the hell? Okay, I do remember a bandage up there. 
or not. Or just a shortcut. Or whatever, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do it the real way. Because I have balls of steel. Or not. <laughs> I might have the balls of steel. I might just be an idiot. Whee! Oh, how? How did I hit that? I was extra careful. Thank you. Or not. I do remember there was a bandage in this level. I do seem to remember there being a bandage in this level. I also believe this is one of the levels that you can skip by just going over it. <sighs> How did I fuck that up? Do I think? Or wasn't there a bandage? Is this just a path? A, a, an extra hard path, so to speak, that you have to take in order to get the A+, I believe it is. Because everything else really doesn't make any sense. And the fact that I'm not able to do this doesn't make any sense either. That might just be me. Whee! That was too early. Too early. Whee! Whee! Okay. This might be a long episode if I don't cut this in half or something like that. I might. I might not. Depending on how long it is in the end. <gasps> how are those guys in my way? How did I not... I'm not even questioning it anymore. How am I doing this? I swear, I used to be better and still... The, the achievement for this... I, no, I don't think I have this one. Actually, I do believe I don't have this one. Might just be three or four I have. I do have the one for the last world, mainly because the last world consists of less levels. It's not 20. And that is what makes it, in my opinion, a lot easier. But I, I could always check Steam statistics to see what people generally think is easier. Because you can you can clearly see in Steam statistics what the most difficult achievements are, like those you can you can see how many people in percent who own this game do have which achievements and I, I think that is a really nice feature of Steam actually. To be able to indirectly compare yourself to people like compare yourself to to the average, pretty much. We What? <sighs> I need to do something about this lag. Really. If it comes down to this, I, I really have to change my resolution. How long am I taking for this level? That might be several minutes by now. Uh-oh. Didn't make that. This really is one of the first challenging really challenging levels we've encountered in this series so far. Even though I do feel as if I should be better at this. I... Okay, I'm changing my strategy here. Next time I reach that place, I'm totally gonna do that another way. Well, if I reach this place ever again, I might not, obviously. I might sit here forever. I might. You never know. Way down there. Down there. Aha! A plus. 